Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm going to share with you my December 2020 glossy box. And uh, I've already canceled <laughs> my glossy box subscription. So uh, this will be the last glossy box I film, at least for a while, unless there's something, either a special edition box or something else that lures me back. So uh, I have canceled, but I canceled, I think I canceled before I knew what this box was. So it's not reflective of this box. It was just, you know, looking ahead to January and thinking about all the other subscriptions I have. Uh, there are other ones that I prefer. So uh, without further ado, this is the standard mailer box it comes in. And I wanted to point out that it says Glossy Box December 2020 V5, which I assume means version five. So uh, there could possibly be at least five different versions of this box. So I like how they have the nice pull tab, which is a little bit harder to pull when you're holding it up. Uh, so, okay, we have some junk mail, essentially, uh, in the inner part here. Let's see what we have. So, uh, Vincero, or Vincero watches, uh, Bright Sellers, HelloFresh, and then CBDFX. I don't know what that is, but uh, if you are interested in any of those discounts, let me know. Okay, so uh, they do have a special box design uh, for the month. So uh, it says best time of the year and has glitter, uh, pink glitter, and then like a white iridescent glitter. It feels like it's on there pretty well. I mean, I might have a few little sparkles, but it's not its not really coming off. And then this looks like it's embossed. Uh, it has cute little dots, and it looks like the bottom is just kind of a plain pink. Okay, so let's open this up. I probably will keep this box. Uh, the inside is like a light beige. Uh, and then this is really cute. So they have a ribbon that says best time of the year. Uh, so that's very pretty. I always hold on to these ribbons. Uh, I have a big bag full of <laughs> ribbons that come in various packages uh, just in case I ever need a ribbon. So very cute. All right, so it has a little flyer and then it has this dark pink, whatever you want to call it, raspberry sort of color uh, with a sticker um, holding it shut. So open that up. And I have seen uh, some spoilers. So that is what we have. Okay, so on the top here, there is the Prep and Prime Exfoliating Coffee Scrub. This is a one ounce little size, and it looks like it has one of those tear off tops, but then it looks like it will reseal. I think with this amount of product for a scrub, you're probably going to use it all uh, the first time you use it. So it says, an exfoliator for softer, smoother, more luminous skin. Gently smooth away skin imperfections and improve the overall appearance of your skin over time by adding this coffee scrub to your regular shower routine. It says it is enriched with ultra hydrating sweet almond oil and macadamia oil. First ingredient is coffee. So I do like body scrubs, uh, especially since I have the keratosis pilaris, so that's a regular <laughs> part of my shower routine already. Uh, I haven't, I don't think, used a coffee scrub. so. It'll be interesting to see kind of what that does to my shower. Okay, so let's see what they have to say about that product. Uh, so that is the overview right there. And it says this uh, travel size, which this is a travel size. They say has a retail value of $15, which doesn't make sense at all because the full size is supposed to have 200 grams of product and it's supposed to have a $20 retail value. So almost, uh, let's see, between six and seven times the amount of product and it's only in another $5. I think that might be a little inflated. I know sometimes uh, travel sizes are more expensive per gram or per ounce just because of the packaging and everything that goes into it, but uh, that seems a little extreme. Okay, so the next product is the Smoothing Coconut Biocellulose Eye Mask, and this is a Korean product, it looks like. It says, sheet of fermented coconut juice. I think fermented products, I mean, you're already seeing them kind of pop up a lot, but it, that seems to be 
uh, an increasing trend is fermented products. Uh, so this is supposed to target dark circles, wrinkles, and puffiness, and it has coconut juice, birch sap, and hyaluronic acid. So, uh, oh, and it's interesting. It's not, okay. So you can see it's like an actual like, like Phantom of the Opera type mask. It's, it's, it doesn't uh, just go underneath. It goes all around. So that's interesting. I haven't seen that very much. Okay. Uh, so they say this is a full size and it's supposed to have an MSRP of $6, which I think is probably about right. Uh, it says this intensive all around eye treatment includes naturally fermented coconut juice to smooth, nourish, and plump the skin. Uh, so that is the next product. And then I have here, there's a lot of like these little oily packet type products, which is interesting. Uh, the next one is the CBD FX. So I guess that's why we got all of these uh, discounts. Uh, if you are interested in this product, before I tell you what it is, uh, they have a 30% off your first order code, which is GlossyBox30 at their website. Uh, so what is this? This looks like a sheet mask. It is uh, a rose face mask. It says toning and moisturizing with a broad spectrum hemp formula. 50 milligrams hemp based, uh, I don't know how to say that, cannabin cannabinoids. Uh, it says active botanical face sheet mask with rose extract. Nourishing and soothing properties help promote a moisturized and healthy looking skin. So it says it has hemp extract. Contains less than 0.2% THC. I don't know if that's some sort of threshold or if that's just uh, what they've calculated. So I haven't used a lot of CBD type products. Uh, it is interesting though because my my flyer here it has two different foot masks shown. So. It has either a lavender or peppermint foot mask. Uh, those are supposed to have a retail value of $10. I don't know if the uh, face mask is the same. Uh, and it says products being very underneath. Okay. Honestly, I think uh, I, I like the type of uh, feet masks, <laughs> foot masks, uh, that exfoliate, like the uh, baby foot ones and those sort of things. Uh, honestly, I think I would rather have a sheet mask for my face than like a, a foot mask. I'm assuming those are like little booties, but I, I don't know. Maybe it's just like a kind of thick lotion. Interesting. Okay. I mean, ideally these two products you couldn't use at the same time. So they're kind of similar in a way that I prefer to have maybe something else, but that's okay. Uh, is the Christoph Robin, it says this is a deluxe mini, the cleansing purifying scrub with sea salt. I know I've gotten samples of this before, but I've never actually used it. Uh, so I need to uh, get on that. Uh, it says, restore balance to your scalp with this iconic scrub. Suitable for just about every hair type and texture. It's amazing for cleansing, removing buildup, flakiness, and soothing sensitivity. And this 40 milliliter size is supposed to have an $8 and $48 value. So, not a bad product. The next one here is a Youth to the People Adaptogen Deep Moisture Cream. It says, formulated for dry, reactive, and sensitive skin, this moisturizer's plant extracts and peptide complex make for long-lasting hydration without clogging pores. So this is another product I think I've gotten samples of, but I've never... Um, tried it out. Uh, so I probably will at some point. <laughs> uh, this is a quarter of an ounce size and it's supposed to have a value of $18. Uh, the full size is two ounce and it's supposed to have a value of $58. The full size of the uh, Christoph Robin, by the way, is supposed to be a $53 value for 250 milliliters. So yeah, again, this is another nice addition. I think that's kind of like with Glossy Box, I just, I feel like I just don't get as excited about the products they send. Like nothing really offensive generally, but just nothing that really excites me. Okay, so we have uh, the coffee scrub and this are deluxe minis, as is the Christoph Robin, and then the masks are both uh, full size which with sheet masks, I, I don't know how you would send something less than a full size. Okay, is this an actual full size? Okay, so this is the Nude Sticks uh, Gel Color Lip and Cheek Balm in the shade Posh. 
And um, as you can probably see, it has like with a typical full size, it's supposed to have like a case and a sharpener. This looks more like a mini to me. The full size is supposed to have a retail value of $26. I'm just making sure there's nothing like left in the box. Okay, so it says rich in color, vitamin E and plant oils, this dual action ultra moisturizing balm provides a lovely lightweight velvety smooth pigment for your lips and cheeks. Yeah, so I'm going to look this up because I don't buy this being full size. So they say the full size on the Ulta website is 0.1 ounce and this is 0 0.088 ounces. So, yeah, not too impressed by that. I mean, for one, two, three, four, five, six deluxe samples for uh, this box retails for, I believe it's $21 a month, isn't terrible. Uh, but don't tell me you're sending me a full size when you're definitely not. Well, that's kind of frustrating. So they say their uh, December box is supposed to be six beauty products worth over $80. So looking at their website, they do say, uh, the sneak peek one is the Use to the People Adaptogen Deep Moisture Cream, Deluxe Mini worth 18. Uh, they do show the uh, nude sticks as being a, they say this is a full size. I mean, the actual sample they show, which, Maybe I'll just insert a picture so you can see it better, but it looks to be a sample size, but then they say full size worth 26. Again, if they said it was a deluxe sample and that's what they were telling people before they signed up for it, fine, but when they're representing that it's a full size and it's clearly not, that's, that's what irritates me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look at my uh, December and final a glossy box for the foreseeable future. I do have the Black Friday uh, glossy box, but uh, I think I'll just film that separately. Uh, none of these boxes, by the way, are PR or anything like that. Like I've paid for these out of pocket. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and maybe gave you some things to consider before you sign up for a glossy box. Uh, I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy this holiday season. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, I do a lot of other subscription boxes like Ipsy, um, BoxyCharm, uh, I think those are the main ones. <laughs> I just, I canceled the Macy's one that I had for a few months, but there's plenty of hauls on this channel as well. Uh, so yeah, please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you soon.